in the previous video we already solved the uh, problem number seven on chapter two so let's continue guys on problem number eight so let's read the problem resolve the force f2 into components acting along the u and v axis and determine the magnitudes of the components so what this means is that we will be making our force 2 or f2 as our resultant force since our force 2 has its own components that is acting along the u and v axis so let's draw this guys so let's plot our force 2 into our axis so guys this is now our force 2 on our u and v axis so now let's draw its components acting along the u and v axis guys so first let's draw its components on our v axis so it will look like this guys this one and we will call this guys as our force to v that's v guys now let's draw the its components along the u axis so it will look like this guys so we will call this guys as our force to u now guys since we will be making our force 2 as a resultant force so let's draw its parallel lines of the two components to form a parallelogram since we will be solving this one using the parallelogram law so from the tip of our force 2v let's draw a parallel line of our force 2u sorry guys this is u so let's make this clear this is force 2u so from the tip of our force 2v this one guys this one let's draw a parallel line to our force 2u so it will look like this one and from the tip of our force 2u let's draw a parallel line of our force 2v and now we al we already have a parallelogram guys so let's determine its interior angles now guys since this line right here which is our u axis since this is a straight line the sum of its angle which is right here is equals to 180 degrees and we already have the value for the two angles so in getting the value of our angle right here guys so let's subtract so 180 minus 75 minus 30 that is 75 degrees and now we will be using the properties of a parallelogram in solving the other interior angles of our parallelogram guys so in getting the angle right here so this is an interior this is an alternate interior angle of our 75 degrees so this is also 75 degrees and in getting the angle right here guys so since this is an alternate interior angle of our 30 degrees so this is also 30 degrees in getting the angle right here and this one guys so that the two of that is equal since they are opposite so let's label that guys as our angle a since the sum of our interior angle of a parallelogram guys is 360 degrees so in getting the value of our angle a we can subtract the angles that we already have to the 360 degrees so the angles that we have guys is 30 and 75 so this angle right here and this one so we already have the value for our two interior angles so that is 360 minus 2 times 75 plus 30 and let's divide it by 2 since there are two angles on our a and they are equal so the value of our angle a is equals to that is 75 degrees so the value right the angle right here guys is 75 degrees and also this one 75 degrees now guys in solving the value of our f2v in our f2u components we can use either these two triangle guys since our f2 which is the line right here divided our parallelogram into two congruent triangle so we can use either of the two guys so let's try to use um, 
this one right here guys this triangle right here so let's copy that one or let's draw that one so this is now our triangle so let's label our triangle guys let's copy the value of this triangle so this is 30 degrees this is 75 degrees and this one right here is also 75 degrees this one right here guys is our f2 which is 6 kilo newton and this line right here is our force to u component now guys in this line this is parallel to our force to v so that is also force to v now guys let's solve for the magnitudes of our components u and v since this is not a right triangle guys so we can apply the law of sine or the law of cosine since we already have many values let's use the law of sine so let's first get the value of the magnitude of our force to u component so the value for our force to u component guys so let's use the law of sine so its opposite angle is 75 so that's sine 75 is equals to our force 2 which is 6 kilonewton over its opposite angle also 75 degrees so our force 2 u component is equals to sine 75 degrees multiplied by 6 over sine 75 degrees and the value for that one guys is equals to 6 kilo newton so that is the magnitude of our force to u component now guys let's get the value of our force to v component again guys let's use the law of sine so force to v component over its opposite angle try to look again guys it's 30 degrees so that is sine 30 over the value of our force 2 which is 6 over sine 75 degrees thus force 2 v is equals to sine 30 multiplied by 6 over sine 75 degrees and we can get the answer guys the magnitude of our force to v component is equals to 3.1058 kilo newton and this is the answer of our force to v component of its magnitude guys so that is how we can get guys the value of the magnitude of our force 2v component.